be Jesus and Mary. Today we celebrate this solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, major feast of Our Lady throughout the Universal Church. And what this celebration of Our Lady reminds me of is that God wants us in heaven with him for all eternity more than we do. We read in the Gospel, St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 27, verse 52. This is at the crucifixion of our Lord. It says, The tombs also were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. You see this? It's as if God cannot wait to raise our bodies from the dead. Now, it's understood that these saints who had risen from the dead at the time of our Lord's crucifixion and after his resurrection, they went into the city of Jerusalem and appeared to many to bear witness and to testify to the resurrection themselves. It's understood that they didn't die again. They didn't return to the tombs. But when our Lord was gloriously ascended himself, he brought with him these saints who also had their glorified bodies. Because God can't wait. He wants us in heaven more than we do. And so when it comes to our Lord's ascension, he doesn't immediately take his mother. Now, why wouldn't he do that? Because, in fact, he loves her best. He loves her the most. Doesn't he want her in heaven more than anyone else? Well, yes, that's true. But in his goodness, in his kindness, in his mercy, and, say, also his prudence, he left Our Lady on earth for a time. Why? because he knew the apostles and the infant church would need to see their mother. With our Lord ascending into heaven, body and soul, the apostles no longer have the consolation of seeing him in his physical form. Of course, he's there present with them sacramentally. He did not leave them orphans, but his physical form is no longer there. They can't see him. They can't touch him. They can't grab on to him. As our Lord said to Mary Magdalene, don't hang on to me. I have not yet ascended to my father and your father. And so for this reason, he leaves Our Lady because he knows that our hearts are made for him and for his mother, for his sacred heart and her immaculate heart. And so it would have been too much for the apostles if Our Lady also ascended into heaven. And so Our Lady, Mother of the Church, she is left there with the apostles for around another 25 years to be with them, to console them, to pray for them, to embrace them before they go off to evangelize. So she is fulfilling her role as Mother of the Church. Now, we no longer have that consolation of seeing Our Lady. Well, maybe with the exception of some chosen saints. But we don't see her in her physical human form. But that doesn't mean that she has given up her role as mother of the church. She hasn't set that aside. This is what the Second Vatican Council teaches Taken up to heaven, she did not lay aside this salvific duty, but by her constant intercession continues to bring us the gifts of eternal salvation. By her maternal charity, she cares for the brethren of her son, who still journey on earth surrounded by dangers until they are led into the happiness of their true home. So this is what we know by faith, that Our Lady, she has been assumed body and soul into heaven. She sits at the right hand of her Son, but she still cares for us 
as our mother and as mother of the entire church. She continues to intercede for us. But for our part, now we have to wait. We have to wait to see her ourselves. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh.